So Kiltas decided to join the Naga and help them find Illidan. In the previous episode, we learned how he pledged his loyalty, and now we'll find out what happens next. Interlude, Illidan's task. Hours later, at Illidan's base camp, Prince Kiltas finally approaches the former demon hunter and asks for his aid. So of course he's addicted to magic. Him and his people need some help. Yes, I got a Christmas mug. You were right. right to come to me, Kale. I share the pain of your addiction. Your hunger for magic. Can you help us, Lord Illidan? Can you cure us? There is no cure, young one. But there are ways to feed the hunger. Follow me and I will grant your people more magic than they can imagine. So be it. Lord Illidan. My fellow Blood Elves and I humbly pledge ourselves to your service. Then arise, young Kale. You shall be my right hand, and the harbinger of my wrath. What of your plans, Master? Hmm. Many months after the Legion's defeat at the Battle of Mount Hyjal, I was visited by one of the last great demon lords, Kil'jaeden. Hmm. Oh, that's a while ago. Illidan, in the past you have been both friend and foe to the Burning Legion. But by consuming the skull of Gul'dan, you sealed our defeat in this world. I come to offer you a second chance to serve us. What would you have me do, Great One? My creation, the Lich King, has betrayed me. He dared to break the pact that binds him to my will. But his spirit still lies trapped inside the frozen throne of Icecrown. Destroy it for me, and I will grant you your heart's desire. It shall be done, Great One. It shall be done. At Dalaran, I attempted to use the Eye of Sargeras to melt away the polar ice caps surrounding the Icecrown Glacier. If the spell had succeeded, the Lich King would have been vanquished forever. But the cursed Night Elves intervened. And the spell went awry. Given my failure, I fled to this desolate place to evade Kil'jaeden's wrath. Now, if I am to remain here in exile, we will need to ensure that Kil'jaeden's agents have been cleansed from the land. Hmm... So that is why Illidan decided to go to Outland. Just because he didn't want to get killed by Kill Jaden, because he failed at destroying the Lich King. Oh, I never actually realized it worked like that. All right, that's awesome. This is why I love this campaign. I mean, the, the storylines and the missions are really good. Anyway, Chapter 5, Gates of the Abyss. Two days later, upon the desolate plains of Outland, Illidan and Prince Kilthus prepare to assault Mactharidon's dimensional gateways. Long ago, after Dranor's explosion, a brutal pit lord named Magtheridon rallied the surviving orcs and took control of Outland. Since then, his forces have grown strong. How, Master? If most of the orcs were killed when this world exploded, how has he bolstered his ranks? By using the very portals that tore the planet apart. Many of Ner'zhul's dimensional gates still stand, young prince. Magtheridon lures scores of hapless demons through them daily. Then we must seal them permanently. Yes. We will seek out each of the gates, and I will close them myself. Once they have been sealed, we will move against Magtheridon's Black Citadel and claim Outland as our own. I think we get the Naga again. I think we get to create Naga again. I love that mission. That was a really fun so mission. What's the hold up? All right, let me go ahead and make sure that I don't hold PDs. Um, all right, so we got a bunch of priests. We got a bunch of footmen. Be wary, master. Actually, these Four are going to be a priest. Never mind. From the gate. I miss. Uh, I confused the archers right there with the priests. All right, so apparently we're immediately under threat. Okay. So there are four dimensional gates. This one is closing in four, or rather in two and a half minutes from now. I think in total we have to hold on then for about three minutes on each and every one of these. 
Um, alright, fair enough. Now, we gotta be careful, actually. We cannot allow them to mana burn. Which is not what we want whatsoever. I should probably be very careful, then. May need to use my ultimates here as well. Illidan is closing the portal. We've got to buy him more time. Oh, okay, I see. Alright, so I may need to use my Phoenix here, which is fair enough. I don't really want to lose all of my troops if I can at all avoid that. But I'm pretty sure I saw accurately just now that I'm capable of once again building Naga troops, which I thought was really fun the first time around we managed to do that. The first time around we were allowed to do that. I guess for this early part of the game though, I may have to be a little more careful. As there are indeed a lot of demons here. You know what? I, I won't worry too much about my base management until a little while later. We'll try and see if we can clean this up here. I'm probably gonna lose all my troops. But as long as my heroes can, can stay alive, I can more than likely clean everything up. At least I'm assuming that that is gonna be the case. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. That's alright. A lot of my dudes are already falling. I've got a lot of resources here already. Hold on. We need to like like have a look at our base so I can make slaves right here as well as reavers you know what I'll make some more slaves here first off um, I can make some turtles these turtles are really good I want to look around my base I want to play with the Naga all right hold up one minute one minute as long as we can survive one more minute we're probably gonna be fine although of course we are playing on hard here which as you may have already noticed makes it a little bit tricky now Illidan is really powerful he can Man, he's level 10. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to... We're gonna have to... We're gonna have to make some units here before jumping onwards. Hold on. So, what can we make? We got some spellbreakers right here. We can create some more workers. Because we got a mix of, like, human units as well as, like, the troops right here from the Naga. Um, can I build anything new? Can I build any new structures here? So, I've got the Tidal Guardians, the Coral Beds, the Spawning Grounds. We got the Shrine of Ashara, trains Naga Sirens, and Qutal. Qutal? Is that a thing? Upgrades for Naga Sirens. I think I want to check out the Qutal, because I could only I could only build the Naga Sirens in the past. That's actually really good. Alright. Um, oh, we can already build them. Light flying unit that can learn abolish magic. Alright, alright. So that's actually really cool. Um, you know what? I think I'll start producing those. Light flying unit that can learn abolish magic. Some of you pointed out actually that the Naga Flyer, which I'm pretty sure is what this is, is one of the most powerful units in the game. Hold up, let me restart the mission real quick and we'll just simply rally a whole bunch of units towards the engagement. Um, I'll get started right here with just a bunch of Naga Sirens and a bunch of the Turtle and maybe some additional Priests and maybe some additional Barracks units here as well. Just to defend this first wave and I'm pretty sure we'll be able to breathe for just a minute or two before we have to uh, fight the next engagement. All right, I'll just get a siren for right now, and I'll try and produce whatever I can. There we go. I also pulled the other troops from the um, outer gate. So hopefully that will make things a little easier. You can see though, it was kind of an overwhelming amount of units already. I'll hold key U as hold key five. I'll hold key U as level six. All right, there we go. We'll just make a whole lot of stuff. I kind of just need to be careful here in the earlier stages of the game. While not getting Illidan mana burned. Mana burn actually kind of hurts him. Gonna try and prevent that from happening. But as long as I'm producing more units here, it should make things way easier. Parasite. Afflicts a targeted enemy with deadly parasite that deals 5 damage per second. Okay, cool. Lots of, uh, lots of abilities. That's awesome. But as long as I can hold on here into, uh, you know, a bit of a safe position for 2 more minutes. This should probably be way easier. And already you can see the sirens once again spawning so many of these parasites. I really enjoy playing with the Naga. I was actually genuinely impressed when we first managed to play with them. Just because it's like a fully flushed out race. There was nothing really missing it felt like. Um, we'll create whatever we can. So, five seconds remaining. Um, I'm secretly hoping that they all disappear right now. <gasps> they do. Okay, that's good. Because I ended up losing kill right there, and basically everything ended up falling. But it looks like we're okay. <laughs> that was a little messy. Okay, so we need to close each and every one of these dimensional gates. We need to bring Illidan to the dimensional nexus. And then Illidan must survive three minutes per gate. Alright. That's exactly what I thought it would be as well. But that was a mess. Anyway, let's check out what these dudes are all about. So, I think they're pronounced Qutals? Qutals. I'm gonna create some of those. Some of you pointed out, like I said, that they may very well be the strongest unit in the entire campaign. Which, you know, sounds very promising. 
Um, I think for the time being, I'm probably gonna try and establish this expansion here, which makes a lot of sense. The more expansions we can find, the better. And we may actually be in a pretty defensive position here for a little while too, just because... I mean, we don't really, we aren't really in a rush. Now, there is indeed a Founder of Health here, too. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just simply start up another expansion here. I'll start up a new base. Oh, that's actually really cool. Look at that. Oh, Illidan still has got all of the items that we gave to him, I'm pretty sure, during the Night Elf campaign. That's awesome. So, he still got the Boots of Speed. He got the Orb of Kill Jaden, which is extremely good. He got the Mask of Death as well. Super solid, actually. Nice. Um, so, yeah, I'm trying to power build up this newly acquired town hall here. And I've got my first flyer out here as well. I have no idea how good these things are, but they're only two supply each. So I'm going to be able to get quite a few. Plus, they've got Abolish Magic. Dispels positive buffs from enemy units and negative buffs from friendlies. You know what? I think for now, just to, you know, sort of like mess around with some of the Naga units, I'm just simply going to build as many of these as I can. All right? That's kind of the goal here. I'm just trying to produce as many as I can. Um, try to keep an eye out here as well if I've got enough lumber income. Increases the armor of Naga attack units and increases the attack damage. Alright, yeah, so we, we basically need to try and get all of these upgrades right here as well. Magtheridin must have discovered us. Oh, snap. These orcs have already begun their assault. Our forces must hold them back while we search for the dimensional gates. Alright. Oh, he should be really powerful against all of this stuff, right? Other than it should be really strong. Turns out he is. All right. Um. Yeah, I'll just simply build up some additional units here for a little while, and we'll just hold on to our bases for as long as we possibly can. I want to make sure that I get a bunch of units out before moving onwards. I'm pretty sure I'm safe to do whatever I please right now. Oh, we got dragons. I'm sending over my um, my my cuitals. Is that really how you pronounce that? Anyway, show me you guys' damage. All right, you guys do some work at the very least. Very solid. All right, we'll do some scouting with those things. Okay, they seem like a lot of fun to mess around with. I think this is, I think this may very well be one, be one of like the few missions where we actually get to use them. I'm not sure if there's going to be anyone after this. I know for a fact that we could not use this during the previous Naga mission. I'm like 95% certain at least. Um, I'll add on some additional units as well, just because we kind of, you know, we probably shouldn't be relying on just a single kind of dude. Um, and I guess we can go up to a higher upkeep. That's not that big of a deal. Um, at the same time, I do want to make sure that I get myself some additional farms. How did that get the hold up? And we'll do some exploration, okay? We'll do some exploration. Now, I'm also researching, by the way, on my Naga units. Just simply trying to figure out what's going on. Ooh, is there a base? Magtheridin's forces have besieged That's the Draenei village. Oh, it we'll is. Drive them back. The Draenei will join us in our fight. All right. This is an optional quest. I'm not sure if it is. Oh god, they do a lot of damage. Oh snap, they do a lot of damage. Oh, I think we've got a mission here where I'm just gonna simply. My people must be a Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just simply gonna try and make all of these units work. Hold up. Let me save real quick. Actually, I just saved. Ah, uh, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, and we'll just simply fight here, right? Hold up. Let me see how good these Qutals truly are. Let me target fire some units there. Oh my god, they almost one-shot units. Well, I mean, you know, with a bunch of them, right? Not, not them just by themselves, but there's a lot of damage they do in a very short amount of time. Oh, that's awesome. I don't know if they actually are as good as I think they currently are, but they seem awfully strong. Look at that damage I put. There's a bunch of them right there. In one wave. Got the raider. They just sort of die. Brilliant. Now, Illidan, of course, very powerful as well. I'll go ahead and activate his demon form. I'll go ahead and flame strike a bunch of these buildings. And while I am, of course, losing a few units here and there, I'm not too worried about that. As long as I can, uh, as long as I can hold on here while also defending at home. I'm not gonna complain. Well, I say that, and immediately, as soon as I move out, my units are in some trouble, because there's actually a lot of these dudes. Raiders, of course, always a pain, but... The fact that they're flyers, though, makes them really good. I've sent all of those home here as well, so that should make this a little easier. Uh, if you could please continue building there for a little while longer. And actually, as long as my units are flying, 
barely any of the orcs can actually attack them and kill them. Huh, that's awesome. All right, so apparently I lost one of my peons there, which is a little unfortunate. One of my workers, rudder. But at the same time, we're still doing work here to watch the orcs base. And I think I'm just gonna continue building up the force that I'm already building here. So it's it's priests, it's cuitals, if that's how you pronounce it, and we get archers. So my base is once again under attack here. I wonder if I maybe didn't push a little too aggressively. Although I seem to be capable of cleaning all of this up. I'm not really losing all too much here as well at the same time. This is still looking a little bit too aggressive. Just, just a, you know, just a bit too much, I guess. Although, as long as we hold on here, and once again, it seems like these cuitals or whatever, whatever they're called, they are holding on quite nicely. I'm getting as many upgrades on them as I possibly can too. I created a second uh, Shrine of Ashara too, so I'm gonna be able to produce two of them at once. All right, so I'm just about to clean up this uh, this base right here at the bottom, and there we go. I think the Drenae will help us out. That's awesome. I am a Kama. Oh, you guys were ugly. Sage of the Drenai. Lord Illidan promised to rid us of our ancient enemies in exchange for our loyalty. These cursed orcs of Magtheridon, a terrible lord whose black citadel lies to the west. Under his command, the orcs hunted us to the brink of extinction. But now, with Lord Illidan behind us, we will fight back and retake our ancestral land. We also serve Illidan, old one. Very well, stranger. Hmm. That's very interesting. The Draenei definitely look a little different nowadays. That's so cool, though. So we got a new ally. The Draenei have joined Illidan's cause to help rid Outland of Mactheridon's forces. Very good. So, I'm building up a lot of things. I'm building up a lot of these flyers. And so far, they seem awfully strong. I'm gonna need a little bit more lumber production because I'm not actually let me build some over here because this is probably actually are there any Well, there's no trees there. All right. Never mind. We'll just build some additional ones over here um, I'll build two more um, And on top of that, I'll go ahead and upgrade the lumber mill there Regardless though, this is pretty solid Once again, some of my troops end up falling, but here we go These things are only two supply each they are only two supply each. Look at the amount of damage they deal. Now, granted, they are really well upgraded, and their armors and whatnot are, are looking solid. And I know this is, generally speaking, not the way you're supposed to, you know, play a game like this. But these things seem a little too good to not make. I'm not sure how good they're gonna be, though, at, like, you know, stopping this engagement, right? Like, I know very well that in just a bit... Oh, hey. I didn't even see those. No, no, don't destroy that. Um, I know very well that in just a little bit, we'll likely be in some trouble, because we need to make sure that we destroy these dimensional gates, right? And I'm not sure how good these flyers are going to be at that, because they are a little bit flimsy. Regardless, though, I'll build up a second control group worth of these units here as well. So I got Hotkey 2 right here, which is these dudes right now, and then we got a full control group right here on Hotkey 1 as well. Now, just because I know a lot of you are going to comment it, I'll start building up some static defense, okay? I know I don't really build a whole lot of static defense. Many of you have pointed out that apparently I may be allergic to it. It's just me playing a lot of StarCraft 2. It's just sort of what happens when you play one game more than the other. In StarCraft, as I pointed out previously as well, usually you're better off not creating too much static defense because if you have troops to defend with, you can just simply counter attack, right? Um, but um, I guess in this game it may be a little bit, uh, you know, a little more beneficial. I'll create some upgrades here as well. But mostly I'm looking here, actually I'm gonna cancel this. I'm mostly looking here to upgrade my Naga here to plus three, plus three. Ooh, look at that, Nether Drakes. I've never seen those before. That's so sick, so there's a mercenary camp right over here. I can hire a Draenei there? That's so cool. Oh, apparently we're actually in some trouble. So let me bring over these guys. I actually have got some more flyers here ready to defend against this as well. So they are actually really fast as well. How are these things only two supply each? I can make so many of them. Oh, so I was just actually about to move out. But apparently... I found some of these dudes right over here. Alright, well, it seems pretty straightforward, right? The amount of damage that we deal here with all of our troops is pretty substantial. Huh. 
All right, well, hey, I guess we'll go straight for the counterattack then. Try and see if we can clean anything up. Um, what I wanted to do is construct another base right here at the gold of that previously, you know, acquired orc expansion here. There are a couple of Draenei Stalkers. Oh, so they are helping us out. Nice. I may be in some trouble here, though, because I, I'm leaving no units here at home. I do have static defense now. So that should make it a little easier. I actually, you know, I actually upgrade some of these as well if I can. There we go. But it's time for us to push onwards. So we'll see how much damage we can do here. There are dragons as well and the whole shebang. But as long as I can, you know, do work here, we should be in an okay spot. I want to rally my phoenix in this direction too. And I want to continue producing at home as well. We are going to high upkeep. But that's alright. Phoenix will be joining us in this engagement here very shortly too. And these dudes are extremely good. I mean, they're like a jack of all trades kind of unit. They do, well, they may not do that much damage to buildings. But they seem a heck of a lot better than the other units I've made in this campaign so far. Whoever commented and gave me the tip to go ahead and build these things, thank you very much. They are really good. Now, sadly, I'm in a bit of trouble. These are full-on raiders. Um, that's a little tricky, because they are probably the best against these kind of units. Now, my static defense is holding them back for a little while. I'm creating, or I'm rather retreating here with all of the units that I've got. At least the ones in the air. But this may be trouble. Although, I got so many, though. Does it really... Look at the amount of stuff I got. They all die before they can even use their abilities. All right, never mind. We just dealt with that very, very easily. <laughs> Alright guys, just fly straight across. Um, one of you can have the honor of joining in the battle here as well. Alright, time to head down and see if we can activate this next wave here as well. There are a bunch of dragons and whatnot, but this is all fine and dandy. I'll get to work on this gate. Kale, I will need you to defend me, just as before. Alright. We'll clean up these things real quick as well, just because we're here now anyway. There we go. I'm producing a lot of stuff at home. I'm leaving some units at home as well to defend against it. But considering I got three bases up and running now, we're going to be capable of getting a lot of units out. I'm going to send my Phoenix in this direction too. There we go. And I think that Illidan can just simply stand right over there. What I'll do is actually just kill them right when they come out. Is that a good idea, you think? Considering these are flyers, I'm going to be able to position them right next to the gate. And we should be capable of, like... Killing a lot of these things before they can even properly spawn. Has called in his reinforcements. At least that's my idea. So far, it seems to work. I'll just replace any ones that die. But anyway, we need to once again defend Illidan right now for two and a half more minutes. And we literally are spawn killing them. I can just put my hands behind my head so far. And we're literally spawn killing them. Because the damage output of these Qudals is insane. What the hell? The gate is closing. Fight on, my warriors. I'm trying my best here, Kilthus. By scratching my chin. And uh, I guess building some more of these dudes. How many do I have right now? Ooh, look. We got a whole bunch at home as well. Uh, you can repair that. And actually, I'll go ahead and allow you to repair or create another one of these towers. Because they bought us a bunch of time. In the meantime, look at this. I mean, I swear I'm playing on hard. This is the hardest difficulty that the game has to offer. And yet... I mean, we've had some really tough missions. And yet this one, at least with the units that I've got right now... Maybe the other gates that I need to close are gonna be a little trickier. But so far, seems pretty straightforward. Oh, finally one of the... <laughs> one of the demons managed to make its way past my initial line of defenses. But it seems like they're sort of like ready to move right out there or so before really attacking here. So, I mean, while I'm taking some hits here and there, I'm totally okay with losing a few units, right? That's really not that big of a deal. And while I'm taking a few hits here and there, as long as I'm not losing it, that's totally fine with me. <laughs> they, they just simply get spawn killed. Anyway, so only 20 seconds remaining. Scout tower apparently done. Uh, we'll get a arcane tower here just because we can. 
Our gold mine is running low. This one? Oh, interesting. How that one is running low before the one in my main. That's all right. Uh, what I'll do then is simply move one of you guys over and construct another gold mine right over here. Just because I can. But that is this one taken care of. Very, very, very easily. I did lose a few units here at the end. I wasn't microing at all. <laughs> um, but I think next up, it's time for us to head up north. It sounds like a helium balloon whenever I, like, activate this control group. You hear that? Wait, hold on. Doesn't that sound like a balloon getting filled up? One of these ones you had when you were a kid? Or maybe you're a grown up, grown up and you really like them still. I mean, that's okay. <laughs> but, like... It sounds exactly like that. Whenever I, whenever I, uh, whenever I click on one of them, right? That's totally the sound of a balloon. Oh, some of the Drenai are once again helping us out here. I'm not sure how much work they truly do, but I'm just moving onwards, fighting whatever I can. Apparently, my forces are under attack. Are there maybe some Drenai in there? There are. We are yours to command, Blood Elf. Nice. New unit acquired. These Draenei are effective against the bitter enemies, the Fell Orcs. So, they don't have any particular use, apparently. Oh, they got a healing wave? That's not bad, even though we're right next to a Fountain of Health. Um, that's okay. You guys can join Hotkey Group Number 1. The Draenei are actually pushing onwards right there. I have no interest in joining them right now. For the moment, I think I'm just gonna move onwards here for a little while longer. Um, this mine will be collapsing here in just a second. No, no, no. So we'll have to keep an eye out on that. And I think I'm going to destroy these dudes right over here. Just because I think I'm going to be just fine at doing this. Look at the damage output! These, that's a level 6 dragon. Apparently there's some more of these forces here too, but... Do we do this one first? I don't know. This gold mine is now also running low. Alright. Some of you can start switching into lumber then. And while this isn't perfect, we're doing quite well, all things considered. Um, you know what? You guys can now also join us. I got another second control group worth of units. You guys can be hotkey number four. So I got hotkey number one right here, hotkey two, hotkey three, and hotkey four. A lot of these flyers. Um, we should probably see if there's any units in these chests. Ooh, claws of attack plus 12. I'm blind, not deaf. Get it, Illidan. I think Actually, I should probably be opening up some more of these barrels because these units seem awfully powerful. So I can hire some of these, but I don't think I, I can actually add them to my army right now, right? Can I? No, no, no. I'm already at the maximum supply, so that's a little unfortunate. We'll pick up the Rune of Shielding just because we can. And um, we'll position all of our units over here. I'm going to save the game just to be 100% sure. I'll put Illidan in the circle. What's the hold up? And I mean, I'll just like simply box around my units to try and see if I can kill them right when they spawn. So this one may be a lot more powerful actually. Yeah, this one is a little bit more powerful. Alright, we may be in some trouble here. Once again, we need to hold on for three minutes. We do uh we we do know exactly where they're gonna be walking. You can see that very clearly. But as long as they're only coming from a single angle, I mean look at that. What are they ever going to do against this sort of stuff? Right? Like, what are they ever going to do? You guys... Oh. I'm sorry, guys. You should really consider mining from here and, like, returning your minerals right there to, or rather, your gold. Uh, I'm not even at... <laughs> it's really not that big of a deal, Kiltas. We're totally fine. Anyway, I was going to say, maybe I should get some more upgrades here now that I'm at the castle tech as well. I can get some more of these upgrades. Um, but honestly, like... We seem to be able to hold on just fine. I guess I can get some more of these upgrades and just simply wait until this timer resets. Because look at it. Everything just simply dies. I like these flyers. These flyers are awesome. We're quite literally cheesing this mission by using a bunch of Naga flyers. I don't know if I'm supposed to feel bad or what, but... <laughs> um, well, I guess you guys can join Hotkey group number one then. That's alright. Um, so this gold mine has collapsed now as well, which is a little unfortunate, but I don't think we really need to worry all too much about it. Um, you know, just start, just start gathering some of these mushrooms as well. That's fine for me. Um, only 30 seconds remaining right now on the third portal. 
I've got a whole bunch of things queued up on this as well. Now, apparently, actually, they've decided to get a little cheeky, and I'm gonna be forced to split up some of my units off of this aggression. Although, actually, the towers! Guys, you may have been right about the towers! I mean, some of you pointed it out since, like, mission one. But the towers seem awfully strong at stopping this aggression. Anyway, I did send one control group worth of these units back home. See if that, uh, that blade master... Oh, wow. Ooh, all right, well, it's all good. <laughs> See if that blade master was feeling ballsy, but it's all good. Even with no micro, we're totally fine. All right, let me move over towards this hold key group or this fountain rotter. And um, I'll, I'll just simply... I'll just simply add on as much as we can. Yo, Miss Gill, the Blade Master! Have you ever met these Naga Flyers? I don't think you were expecting those in Outland now, were you? Thank you, buddy. No problem. Uh, so we'll wait for just a little bit. Get Lady Vash back in action, because she will be back here in just a minute or so. And um, then we'll head up straight towards that base in the top right corner. Now, the base in the top right corner does seem awfully powerful, though. So we have to be a little careful about that. Pleasure. So I got four hotkey groups worth of things. That totally sounds like a balloon. <laughs> anyway, I don't know if this is counted as like Naga cheese. It feels like I'm, I'm cheesing this mission in a way. I mean, I'm not feeling terrible at all. This game has been a pain in the ass, so I can, I can feel a little cheesy, I guess. Regardless though, 1A, 2A, 3A, 4A. Let's see how this does. Maybe I should wait for the Naga. They'll get here. There we go. And we'll just simply do as much damage here as we possibly can. Whenever I lose units, I'll replace them. I already have a whole lot of uh, Q-Adles queued up right now as well. But look at... Seriously! Like, look at this! I would normally need siege units here, right? So just to clarify, they do 45 to 65 damage. They have got 9 armor. Apparently Lady Vash, once again, doesn't want to lift to fight another day. That's okay, let me cancel a few of these. Just to get her back in action. But even though I'm losing a bunch of units, I'm not microing this at all. Right? I want to point out how little I'm microing this. Well, I'm, I, I guess I'm microing it a little bit. So that wouldn't be fair to say, but... <laughs> Still, we should be capable of cleaning out this base. I honestly don't even know if I need to, considering the portal is over here. Actually, I don't think I'm even supposed to clean out this base. Do you think we need to? I guess I could make it a little easier on myself to stop all of the, you know, the counter-attacking or whatnot. <laughs> but still, things just die. This is giving me flashbacks to the mission of the undead during the Reign of Chaos campaign, where I first got to use the Frost Worms, right? Remember that mission? That's a quite a while ago. That's a couple of months ago at this point, I think, is when I went, uh, when I uploaded that one. But I basically maxed out on a whole bunch of frost worms, and that worked out in our favor very, very nicely as well. Anyway, um, it's gonna take a couple of minutes before this base is taken care of. I did lose a, a bit of supply here, and actually, apparently, uh, Kiltas almost ended up falling there. But I mean. We just simply clean it up. I mean, we're just simply cleaning up all of the things. And I don't even think we needed to kill this base. I'm pretty sure we could have done without. There's a lot of these crates everywhere. Maybe I should try and see if I can find some more. Just simply take those out and see if there's any additional loot. Because I need to spend a bit of time here now anyway. You know what? I may just very well push right when these Drenae decide to start the engagement here as well. I think, I think we need to go right over here and then walk up north. Oh, actually, look at that. That is not one of those cages. Yep. That's not one of those cages. With bunch of, uh, probably a bunch of Naga in there. Or not a bunch of Naga, rather, sorry. A bunch of Drene in there. Okay, very good. Lord Akama told us of your exploits. We will aid you in Lord Illidan's name. A hood of cunning. Very good. Uh, we don't really need that potion. Actually, do I have a really... Okay, eh, you know what. A hood of cunning. What exactly does it does again? Or does it do again? Increase the intelligence as well as the agility of the hero by four when worn. Super good. Alright, let's make our way to the portal. Come on, balloon fighters. The final dimensional gate is surrounded by demons. 
We're going to have a serious fight on our hands. Yeah, this is going to be a serious fight, dude. Fear the demons, King. In time, they will call you master. <laughs> I'm just simply attack moving to each and every one of the corners. Um, I mean, that's, that's insane. That's absolutely insane. We'll take down all of these barrels. What's the hold up? See if there's any items hidden in some of them. There's something here. A greater roll of or a scroll rudder of replenishment. I don't really care too much. Healing selves. Don't really care too too much either. Um something. You know what? I think we'll once again surround our cuidals right around the portal. Easily. I'll make sure to save, just in case. We'll put Illidan in the circle. My people must be avenged. I'll activate the phoenix. And I'll put my dudes right here a bit in the back. They're the only ones on the ground, so basically they will be taking all of the hits. Which I guess is fair enough. And this should be the final portal that we need to hold on to for 2 minutes and 45 seconds. <laughs> the Naga Cheese! I was expecting a really difficult mission, because I believe this is the second to last one of the Alliance campaign, after which we only have one campaign remaining. But I, you know, I have to be honest, these, these flyers, they do quite a bit of damage in just a matter of seconds. Now initially for this mission, I was planning on just simply playing a standard setup, right? The one that I always do. But I remember, I think it's been about a month or two or so ago, that someone commented down below saying that the Qtool, and I, I remember finding that word very, very curious. I remember finding that one, you know, to, to look kind of funny. I remember someone saying that those units are insane. So, I didn't think of it until I just now, you know, opened up the mission and I clicked on the Shrine of Ashara and I realized the name right there. Oh, actually, I may have actually clicked on a, on a worker right there and I wanted to construct the building, but regardless. Um, yeah, they are, they are insane. I don't know if they're gonna be available, in uh, in any other uh, or during any other moment of this campaign But they certainly seem awfully powerful. Anyway, only one minute to hold on right now I'm, blind, I'm pretty sure Illidan can survive like 30 seconds of getting hit for as well And I mean my heroes are barely even participating here. I love how there's just like a pile of skeletons right here We can see where they leave the gateway <laughs> Everything just gets one shot <laughs> There are so many units spawning as well. But they just have no chance to even get their attack animation started. There's one brave Draenei on the ground. Hitting away at them as well. He's actually also dealing a lot of damage. 29 to 33. It's just that these things... I mean, the fact that they're two supply each, right? If they were four supply each or something, it would have not nearly been this one-sided. But considering they're two supply each, turns out they're pretty good. And I think with that, we have indeed managed to complete this mission. I still got some tea left over as well. Huh. Hmm. I grow did we do it? All right, yeah, I was gonna say, did we do it? But no, we did. Hardly a challenge. <laughs> Hardly a challenge indeed. <laughs> You've done it, Master. The dimensional gates are all sealed. There's no way for Nectheridan to call reinforcements now. True. But his standing forces are still considerable. Assaulting his black citadel will not be easy, Kale. I wouldn't have it any other way. Well, if you can give me access to these units once again in the next mission, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be pretty easy. Regardless though, I hope you enjoyed watching this episode, even though we cheesed it. I mean, even though, let's be fair, we cheesed it a little, but I really enjoyed that. Considering there are some missions out there that I spend hours and hours and hours on, it's fun to have one that is probably really hard if you play it normally to just simply be able to roll through that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button down below. If you want to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get a notification as soon as I upload more. And other than that, I want to thank you for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile alright, and I will see you in the next one.